Hello guys, welcome to Filament Daily. Today I want to show you a practical example of relation managers based on an open source example of Tiny CRM. This is an open source filament project and I'll link that in the description below, created by Ishan Sheikh here. And that repository is great for quick install with seeding the data so we can take a look at accounts for example and then click edit on the seeded fake account and have this at the bottom three relation managers so in the filament account resource there's a function get relations with three relation manager classes and if we go to any relation manager we have a form we have a table with quite a few actions like edit action and even bulk action so we can for example from the same table while looking at editing the account we can add a new contact so if we click new content we'll have a drop down with something gmail.com we create and that refreshes at the bottom really convenient right so that's why relation managers are a very good feature to use inside of the edit of the main resource also when using a few relation managers you can switch between them so click leads click deals and contacts back and also interesting thing from the code delete bulk action is just notification make so there's no actual delete so we can take a look at ticking the checkboxes and then delete selected are you sure but then no we have a notification and nothing is actually deleted so that is kind of a side quick trick and if you go to other relation managers on the same account resource it's pretty similar so relation manager form table and some actions with also delete bulk action restricted so this is just a quick video what i wanted to show you is a few relation managers related to the same model and the same filament resource quite a good user experience by the filament team originally and by developers who actually use that properly what do you think have you used relation managers in your projects and do you have any improvement ideas for those let's discuss in the comments below and if you want more filament examples, visit our website filamentexamples.com. Some of those examples are free and I'm waiting for Filament 4 to be released quite soon to update all those examples to the newer version with newer features. And also start creating new projects, new ideas, new examples also with Filament 4. That's it for this time and see you guys in other videos.